Hi, I am Dr. Srikant Shetty. I am the head of interventional cardiology at Sakra World Hospital. Coronary angiography is considered the gold standard investigation for uh, detecting coronary artery disease. So it is done under different circumstances. Sometimes in patients who present with heart attacks. At other times in patients who have positive treadmill and sometimes in patients who present to us with either breathlessness or chest pain on exercise. Earlier, we used to do coronary angiography through the groin route. These days, we do it through the wrist route. When we were doing through the groin route, the potential complications would be primarily related to the axis site bleeding. And because it's a large artery in the groin, the bleeding complications could be quite nasty, sometimes requiring blood transfusions, sometimes requiring uh, surgical procedures to close the uh, hole in the uh, bleeder in the uh, artery and sometimes because of clotting of the leg artery the patient may require uh, blood thinners or procedures to remove the clot. So these are uh, complications related to the access site. These complications have been substantially reduced by now doing the coronary angiography through the wrist route because it's a small artery very accessible and against the bone when we use the wrist route these bleeding complications are eliminated and then also there is no risk of losing the uh, pulse because there are two parallel arteries running in the wrist which take care of the circulation to the hand so when you go through the wrist artery you need not be worried about losing the wrist artery now as far as uh, complications specifically related to the heart are concerned these are very uncommon coronary angiography very very rarely can induce heart rhythm disorders or uh, heart attacks sometimes rarely strokes because your catheter is in the uh, aorta from where some plaque might get disturbed and go to the brain arteries and cause uh, strokes fortunately these kind of complications are very rare and the other complications can be related to the use of the contrast medium which is uh, used to opacify the artery during the coronary angiography so these are iodinated contrast in some people these cause allergy and most of the time these allergies are mild and very easily managed some itching or wheels uh, rash etc very rarely more serious allergic reactions like uh, a bronchospasm or uh, severe anaphylactic reactions uh, which are life threatening but fortunately these are very 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 uncommon and when they happen in the cath lab they can be managed because every all the emergency equipment are readily available the other important uh, complication that we need to be uh, careful about is in the very elderly and in those patients who have pre-existing kidney disease the radiographic contrast can cause what we call contrast induced nephropathy where it causes deterioration of the kidney function so this can be avoided by limiting the amount of contrast and in careful patient selection and then aggressively hydrating the patient after the procedure so and choosing uh, the kidney safe uh, contrast so in this way we can avoid uh, leading to kidney damage so when we choose a coronary angiography in the right patient for the right reasons and if it is done safely it is a very very safe and a useful procedure however we need all of us need to be cognizant about the possible complications we should be alert to those possibilities and be ready to manage them